Man, I love our base, and that's why we're going to work on it in this episode. <laughs> Surprised I didn't die there. That's right, guys. We are going to be working on the base once again. It's episode 30, easy, easy going survival. Yeah, we're at episode 30 now. That's pretty crazy. We're definitely getting up there in the episode numbers. So, yeah, we got some big projects to do over the next 20 episodes before our world tour at episode 50. I have a big list of what I want to get done, and the base is one of them. Uh, at least the most of the building stuff done. So yeah, guys, we have a lot of work to do. Uh, but first, you know, I think we need to put on a different skin. Uh, we're not really we're not really dressed for the job, if you know what I mean. There we go. That's better. Now we won't get our suit dirty. Thanks to uh, Tropical Troop for designing me this nice new little jacket and overall. Uh, yeah, I think we're ready to build now. So first things first, I would like to finish up this hallway over here. I think that we might as well just finish this up, make it look all nice. We have plenty of spaces for supporters. We also got another supporter statue to put in. So I think I'm going to finish up this hallway, uh, get some of the aesthetic, you know, start tearing out the floor, things like that, and hopefully make all the room. And then we can add also a new supporter statue for the same person who made our skin. Uh, Tropical Troop, thank you so much for your support, dude. And we'll be putting your statue in right in this spot in just a second. Also, that brings me to a point. If you want to become a supporter, either donate on the Patreon and I'll build you a statue with the, you know, base level, or you can actually just chat on my Discord and level up, and that's another way to get supporter. Now I'm done doing shameless plugs, let's get on with the building. And we've put in some stuff. Uh, we cleared out this side of it. Uh, I'm basically just going to do it iteratively, so I do like one step at a time, just place a bunch of blocks. However, I did run into a slight hiccup, and that is, I don't have any more Blackstone, so... Hopefully, we got some of the piglin bartering system, but if not, we might be out of luck a little bit. So I managed to wrangle some gold together, which means, yeah, hopefully we get some blackstone out of this. Uh, I really have no idea how much is actually left in there. I guess we'll find out. Hopefully it's enough, though. Otherwise, yeah, I have no idea what we're going to do. Uh, yeah. It's not enough. All right, well, I guess we should just go to the Wither Skeleton Farm, and yeah, I gotta go soon anyways. We'll just, we'll just AFK there for a bit. Ah, uh, man. I want to play Minecraft, but I don't have the Blackstone, too. And after a solid AFK back at the area, uh, I think I already emptied these chests out. We got quite a bit, so we got about a shulker and a half of this stuff. Uh, nothing insane, but it'll have to do for now. It'll have to do for now, so anyhow... Let's keep working on the base. Ah, the joys of placing basalt. So much fun. Man, I just gotta say, guys, like, I say this a lot, so... I do apologize, but the new nether textures. Oh my god, they're amazing. Like, holy crap, I love them so much. They just work so well together. Add so much depth to this build. I love these rooms. I love building. Building's so much fun. I'm glad I'm getting better at it. Let me know if you guys have any building tips, by the way. I love to hear them. Uh, that's definitely my weakest suit in the game is probably building at this point. So, I always appreciate to hear the tips. So, yeah. Drop a type down in the comment section. Looking good, looking good. This room is looking pretty cool. Uh, I really like all these little spaces for statues we got going down here. I think this will be really cool once it's filled up. At least that's the goal. I hope we get at least, uh, what? We have 12 spots for supporters, at least. So, I really hope we do get that much. That would really mean a lot. Anyhow, come up next, I think before we finish up this hallway, we obviously got this side of the rooms and then this little ceiling. I think we should build up uh, Korra's statue, Tropical's troop statue, in this room right here. So for Korra's statue, what he wants is actually pretty cool. So his name Korra, obviously, I, most of you guys might recognize that. It's from Ava, Legend of Korra. Uh, it's from Avatar. This guy's very into Avatar. Uh, and he wants me to build him an altar that has the four elements so those elements are water, earth, fire, and air. So for water, obviously water, we'll get ice to represent that. Um, dirt would probably be a good source of like, you know, uh, we're gonna throw a few of these in here so we don't need it. Uh, dirt, I think would be a good source for earth. Maybe like nether rack with fire lit on top of it. Definitely a good choice for fire. Uh, and then for air, that's the hard one, actually. Uh, I guess, what air? Air, air, air. Um, I think an Elytra would be cool, but that doesn't fit the block theme. Um, maybe we can have an item for each of them soon. The Elytra could be one of them. In terms of air, I feel like a lodestone. Let's look at that texture. 
Yeah, that'd be a cool air block. Let's do that. That seems like a good idea. All right, Tropical Troop. This is going to be pretty expensive, but you know, it's not expensive. I'm just kidding with you. Uh, it's, it's really not expensive at all. This is going to be really cool. I'm curious how else should we put. Would you stop it? You jerks. Come on. All right, in terms of little mementos, let's go look at our miscellaneous aisle. So, okay, it's right here. I definitely think something like Phantom Membrane for air. You know, I'm just gonna throw some of these garbage items in there. Uh, something like Phantom Membrane for air, that for fire would be really cool. Um, Earth. I'll think of it, I think, but let's build something up. And here we go. Here's what I came up with a little bit of a shrine to the four elements. So we got air right here, as long as a little bit an icon item as the phantom membrane. We got water packed ice so it doesn't melt. And we got melon bits for earth, uh, melon seeds, like little pebbles, uh, dirt for earth, water bottle is like a memento for water, fire for fire, and then blaze powder for the fire item memento. Let's close that up. And we just gotta put a sign now. Thank you so much, Cora. I'm gonna put your YouTube name, Tropical Troop. Um, 9-13-20. This hallway is looking amazing. I'm really glad we finished this guy up. I mean, this is looking really cool. I'm really happy with how this has churned out. As you can see, looks very complete, except for the end over there, which I'll do at a later date when we actually build the towers up. I'm still so scared about that. I have designed the toppers that are going to go on top of the things. I am excited to do that, but I still have yet to design the actual towers themselves. So we're still holding off on that one. That's going to be a huge project, though. Those are going to be some big-ass towers. Oops. I mean... Big towers, sorry, big towers. So yeah, uh, it's gonna be great. Uh, I guess what's next is, I'm not sure. I mean, I kinda wanna do the trophy room, but also at the same time, I'm tired of building hallways. I feel like that's all we've been doing on the base. So I kinda wanna do something else. Uh, and that's something else involves a bit of redstone. And that's something else, of course, involves this hallway over here, I think, uh, it's going to be with a hallway where we have our super smelter, and that's exactly what we're going to build. We're going to build up a super smelter. I think it should be a lot of fun. Uh, basically, we're going to build a big super smelter. I think, yeah, it should be good. Uh, I think we're going to build it somewhere in this hallway. We'll probably pick one of these entrances. We want to make sure we have enough space, so probably go, eh, like maybe the fourth one will be, maybe this one right here will be a entrance to that area and it'll be a huge space back there so in terms of designs we're probably going to go for an ill mango smelter uh, i'm gonna do some research but those are really good smelters really big smelters i think that's definitely the way to go so yeah let's go look up a design clear some space and start constructing this bad boy and the hole has been dug. Uh, basically what we're going to have is, basically the way a smelter works is it's modulars. So essentially it's one module, mod, modular, module. It's so late guys, I'm so tired. Uh, it's 23 furnaces you can hook up to via one double chest very easily. So a total of 46 per smelter. And we're actually going to put one on this side, one on the other. So we can put like a couple shulker boxes on this side, a couple shulker boxes on that side. Everybody's happy. We got stuff going for us. It should be fun. But first things first is these are all shulker boxes just full of stone, cobble, basically just items for mining this stuff out. So I think it's time we sort through uh, all of these. So I'm probably going to go AFK overnight. Just let it sort. And yeah, I'll be back in the morning to finish up and work on that super smelter. This is a very satisfying thing to do in Minecraft. Just crafting stacks upon stacks of hoppers. All with resources that I didn't have to lift a single finger to get because we have iron farm, we got tree farm. Oh, this is beautiful. 
All right, so I'm just in the process of collecting up some resources. So looking at this, one of the four modulars, it uses about two stacks of hoppers, a couple stacks of blocks, about a stack and a half of redstone, then a few repeaters and other miscellaneous little things for each of them. So essentially, we just got to get a bunch of these resources. Um, I'm just going to craft about a stack of repeaters and basically a ton of hoppers. Uh, everything else, I should have enough in here to do it. Uh, then we'll also have some leftover chests as well. So I'm going to craft up some more things, and I think we should be good to start building up the first modular and see how this thing actually works. So I definitely think thinking about the aesthetic of this room is important, so I want to make sure I leave enough space in the center, and I think a five block gap for us to be able to run down the center is more than enough for this space. Obviously we have a huge space cleared, but that's all for the redstone. So I think we're going to have a line of furnaces right here, and this is where this line will be, and then have our line here and then somewhere in the middle obviously is where the input for this is going to end up going so i think i'm actually going to leave you know a couple more blocks even to start this off and i just want to map this out because it really suck if you know there's not enough room i want to make this look good too so uh we can put one right there then we actually have 23 in a line so three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three and i believe that makes sense because i should have placed 23 here okay cool so that's the first 23 furnaces um obviously we're gonna have another 23 we might have to extend this room actually looking at it. it's gonna be a little tight because we do have one two i think four blocks in the middle so all right well we'll have to figure it out anyhow i'm gonna build up the first modular uh, i'll probably update you guys throughout this process but it's actually pretty simple uh basically just a lot of hoppers and a little bit of redstone uh, the link will be down in the description for it i'd recommend you guys check it out because i do think it's actually really cool and i think you guys would like this design as well so i guess we just gotta get building so I've put in basically most of the hopper infrastructure for this thing. Uh, used about two stacks of hoppers, so it does use quite a bit. Um, like I'm not sure of, I guess I have to pick some of the aesthetic. I was kind of looking forward to just trying this out, but uh, this is a visible block that involves redstone, so I do kind of got to put this in place. But yeah, I think this is probably a pretty safe bet for our aesthetic. I want to go for something slightly different down here, but definitely probably going to keep the theme uh, that we got going in the base. So... Anyhow, we got some more to place. Uh, still some more work to do. I think it's going to be a lot of redstone stuff now, but this is really quite easy to build, guys. Definitely recommend it. Link in the description once again. Ill Mango is a champ. So I found a lot of the redstone. I'm basically, the way this works is that the items flow this way, and once it hits here, uh, there should be an item every hopper, and then it'll iteratively just unlock all the hoppers over and over again. Uh, then all the items will go into the furnace, and that's how it distributes, which is pretty smart because... It does depend on minecarts. Minecarts are weird. It adds extra layers. Whereas this, you can just put in as many items as you want. It just funnels them in at hopper speed. And it, yeah, goes down like that. And it works really cool. So, yeah, this is looking good. Um, I guess we got to keep working, though, right? So, I might light the top of this up and try to finish this modular up. Modular. Modular. I can't say that word at all. Uh, and then we'll probably build the other three more consecutively because it just makes more sense to place everything on one and all the other ones as well so yeah okay cool i guess let's get going okay so the thing is done actually I, the last couple i had like nothing left uh so let's give it a tester so i guess let's distribute the fuel first so fuel goes in the lower chest we'll move these around of course um fuel goes in there Basically, we should just be seeing one item in here at all times. And eventually, okay, one. Okay, looks good. I think the easiest way to test this would just to be go like this. So, stone in the chop chest will make some smooth stone. And all of these should just light up at the same time, basically. This is what should happen any second now. And... That is understandable why those didn't light because, yeah, <laughs> because we had a, um, yeah, of course that makes sense because we had a redstone dust in there. Okay, and this is already, yeah, flowing in items. So we got 20 for the first batch and then we'll get 23 on the second batch, etc., etc. 
That's cool. That works well. Okay, awesome. And this thing works at hopper speed, so we don't have to worry about overflowing or anything. So this is working fantastic already. But of course, we're gonna have four more of these. So I'm gonna have to keep going, but I think we're gonna organize it so this chest is right here. And then I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll put the fuel chest either just above it or maybe just below it. It's hard to say because we can't have a hopper here. So, oops, I see yeah, that might have potentially broke it slightly. Okay. Um, So, okay, I'll have to do some thinking about that. Sorry to pause there for a sec. All right, but let's build up the next five. We'll figure that out later, but we got some building to do. That's all I got to say. Of course, there wasn't enough space, so we have to go clear out, you know, additional you know, eight blocks on this side, which isn't terrible. We'll be able to knock this out pretty quick, but this thing is beefy, guys. I didn't realize. It's going to be a lot of furnaces. This should be able to smelt most of our items very, very fast. So I'm going to clear these blocks, uh, get more space, and we can keep on, yeah, placing some more furnaces and hoppers. All right, and the second module, modular, module, I, I do not know why I cannot say that word, guys. Uh, I had a speech pen when I was a kid, and yeah, I still can't pronounce uh, new words. Not newer words, just weird words. I can still not, just cannot pronounce them. Anyhow, we got the other section done, uh, so we have half the system down. Now we're just going to mirror it on the other side. I've already actually started this process. I mapped out the furnaces and placed most of the hoppers. However, we do need to put, I think about... Uh, yeah, about another stack per each because we got to extend the line out. And yeah, other than that, uh, besides that, I've also put in uh, where we put our fuel. Fuel right there and just items right in there just like so, which I think is a pretty good setup. And then we'll have the output somewhere in the middle of the room. I think we're going to actually have a bit of a staircase going up to the top, but we'll figure out how this works. We'll figure out how it works in just a little bit. But for now, let's get this side done. I've now finished up all of it, actually. So I filled up this side. It's really easy to build once you get the hang of it. It's very just repetitive and really not too bad. Uh, it's a pretty easy build, to be honest. But this is beefy. This is a 92 furnace array in total. So basically, obviously, we have to kind of manually split it. But say we need four shulkers of glass. We just fill this chest up with the glass, fill this chest up. And at the end of the day, we'll be totally fine. So yeah, OK, I guess we need to do a stress chest chest stress test of this system so i'm just gonna smack some of these items in here that i don't really need or head back up to the base i'll grab a bunch of items to smelt and yeah we'll see how it goes all right so i went to the wither skeleton farm i picked up like six shulker boxes of blaze rods we're just gonna load this half and half i think um and we're gonna give this thing a stress test i wish i knew <laughs> i don't know which way the hallways is of course all right, cool. So we got into the room. Okay, so let's divvy this up. So we're going to smelt a shulker of sand and a shulker of stone. So I guess we'll just go sand and stone that side. How many shulkers are these? We have, we have eight in total. So one, two, three, and four on that side and four on the other. So when we load it up, we can load up two at a time. Okay, it's gonna start ticking down. Uh, then we can load up stone. Okay. Uh, my guess is not all of these will light right away because blaze rods are not going in the other direction. Something is broken on this side. Oh, wait, what? I not put torch? Oh, yep. Okay, let's stop that. Wait, oops. Let's stop that from going, and let's take this out. Okay. Do that. Okay, so what we accidentally messed up is I forgot to put the torches in, so let me fix this. All right, so I put the torches in, so those hoppers should be locked. Basically, what the hoppers not to drop their items in or accept these items, essentially. So if I replace the this hopper this thing should also be working what 
what happened here. So it just stops. What is going on? Oh, wait, it's working. Why is stone not going in that? Okay, well, I gotta do some troubleshooting on that side. So, all right, let's try this side out. So, let's just put, you know, a couple shulkers of this stuff up top. You know, fill that up. Then, do the same thing with some sand down below. And let's hope this works. Sorry, I'm not talking. We're concentrating. I gotta fix this guy. I'm curious as to why this of all of them is like the only one that's not working. These all work. Okay, cool. I'll fix this up. I've discovered the culprit. This block is missing. Of course, that's annoying. Well, easy fix. So I think all we gotta do is that. Um, that should fix it all. I think that's why it's so uneven is because of this block is missing. Okay, then. Well, I'm going to redo that side. So I'm just going to actually break these two hoppers. We're just going to let the system die down. See, like, yeah, that's getting all of the stone at the moment. Let the system die down a little bit. Uh, yeah, that side is kind of screwed up as well. Okay. That's better. All right. Figure this out. I think I can fix it now, though. Finally, it's working. I finally... There's a couple issues. That block was missing. These torches were over... He that one was here instead of there. Then I put them on the wrong block slightly. It was just a little bit of a mess, but... I think we fixed it now. Looking around, the fuel is roughly... Even though this there's a couple... It's kind of weird. Like, this isn't perfectly distributed, though. I'm giving this the benefit of the doubt and just assuming that it's because... Yeah, like, we, uh... Didn't fully bring it in, obviously. And then coming over here. Oops. Come on. Dip down. Okay. Uh, if we just check back here, just make sure that all looks good. Yeah, that's looking fine. All right, so I'll keep loading up some fuel. I'll keep getting this done. And we got to start thinking about aesthetics for this area uh, and see what we can do with it. Prepare your eyes for a bit of a sudden jump in progress. As you guys can see, I have finished the aesthetic for the room. So I did record a couple clips, but honestly, guys, they were long. They were boring. Mike wasn't yelling right because I was like yelling into it or something. Like the audio is bad. So I was like, you know what? I think we just got to re-record this clip and end the episode off instead of having two clips lasting 10 minutes. So that's what we're going to do. So I finished up the aesthetic. Honestly, I know this seems like a lot of work, but really it took about a half hour I mean, this wasn't too bad. I had a good idea of what I wanted to do. I'm really happy we incorporated some new blocks. Like, we used this warped wood a little bit more than we have in the past. We incorporated the basalt differently. Uh, we also worked in this terracotta. So I'm definitely happy of how it all turned out. I think this definitely is a cool build. Uh, and it definitely fits in well. I definitely appreciate how this build looks. And I think that moving forward, yeah, this is yeah looking great. And I think it gives me a lot more ideas for other parts of the base, too. Uh, we also have a door back here so we can access all the completed redstone and things. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is sick. We actually built and decorated the 92 smelter in one episode. On top of, and let's not forget, now that of course I am need to break out of here, let's not forget that this is only one of two or three things we did in this episode. So this has been a very productive episode. We also finished up this hallway, which is just looking fantastic in my opinion. Um, we also added a statue for our Tharva right over here, Tropical Troop. Has multiple names on Discord and YouTube, uh, which is looking really awesome. So, yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching the episode. If you made it this far, you guys are champs. And thank you, Sai, so, so much for the support. It means a lot. Uh, I'm trying to hit 1K subs by December, so it'd be really appreciated if you guys could just hit that subscribe button and help me reach my goal. But other than that, guys, I hope you have an easy going day, and I'll catch you all later. Bye bye Oh, and by the way, sorry if I, you know, uh, sounded tired in some of the clips in this episode. It was a very busy week, so I do apologize for that. Other than that, though, guys, once again, have an easy going day. I gotta go finish editing this video, and 
attend a virtual lab for physics. Okay, bye.